Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a time delay using the Admega 328 Timer 1 using the normal mode. Introduction. Now, the Admega 328 has three timer counters. The first one is an 8 bit. Uh, timer counter zero or TCNT zero. The second one is a 16 bit uh, TC uh, one or timer counter one or TCNT one. And third uh, timer counter is an, is an eight bit uh, timer counter TC two or TCNT2. Now here is a uh, block diagram of it of the overview of the 8 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller. I've taken this uh, block diagram from the data sheet and the purpose uh, of showing you this block diagram is to show you the relevant components that are needed to generate the um, uh, time, a time delay. So the first one is the AVR CPU. Then we have the two 8-bit timer counter that we mentioned earlier. And then here we have the 16-bit timer counter. Now for each timer, uh, whether it's an 8-bit or a 16-bit timer, each timer will have a a timer counter reg register or TCNT, uh, a timer counter, uh, sorry, a timer overflow flag or TOV, and then there will be a timer counter control register or TCCR, and an output compare register or OCR. The end that is uh, highlighted in red that could be an integer uh, from 0, 1, or 2. So for example, TCNT uh, 0, or it could be TCNT 2. Right, here's another block diagram of the uh, now, but this block diagram focuses only on the 16-bit timer counter. So, uh, we have here the TCNT, then we have the TOV, the uh, overflow flag, and then there is this timer counter control register, TCCR, and then finally we have the output compare register, OCR. Now obviously there are lots of details here, so let me just simplify this diagram. So here is the simplified uh, block diagram. Here we have the uh, TCNT. Actually, this is made up of two 8-bit register. We'll come to this uh, later on. And then uh, we have the uh, TOV, the overflow flag. Then we have the timer control register. This again, uh, similar to TCNT, is actually made up of um, two 8-bit register. Uh, maybe I should have drawn this uh, like this, but anyway, uh, both are 16-bit uh, registers. And here we have uh, the uh, OCR registers or the output compare registers. And then we have the comparators and we have the OCF bits or the output compare flags. Now, for our purpose, generating the time delay in the normal mode, all we need are these registers here, the TCNT, the TCCR, and the overflow flag. We also need to bring in the uh, T 
IFR. That is the Timer Counter Interrupt Flag Register. So um, these are the components now, uh, or the registers, necessary registers required to generate a time delay in the normal mode. Now, more uh, on the normal mode later. So uh, let's focus our attention on the 8 mega 3 to 8 16 bit timer. All right, I repeated the uh, block diagram of the 16 bit uh, timer counter here. Uh, I'd like to draw your attention to this uh, shaded area here. Now, now this symbol here, that this represents a multiplexer. And the function of the multiplexer is to determine the source of the input pulse. Now, if you look at this part here, there are only two source of input pulse. One is from uh, the external source. Uh, we won't be considering this. And the other one is coming in from the prescaler. Again, uh, I will focus on the more attention on the prescaler uh, in due course. Now, the output from the multiplexer is the, a signal called the CLK signal. All right. And then there is the uh, TCNT, the timer control register, and then the TCCR. And not forgetting the TOV, the overflow flag. So now what I want to do now is to turn our attention uh, on the TCNT register. All right, the, uh, the timer counter one or TCNT one. Now the TCNT one is the 16 bit register. Now it consists of two parts. The first part is the TCNT1H, uh, H stands for high byte, and then TCNT1L, that's the low byte. Now TNCT1 always count upwards. That means it's an up counter in the normal mode. And as mentioned earlier, the TCNT receive the uh, counting pulses or the CLK, CLK signal from two sources one is the internal 16 megahertz oscillator which can be further divided by a prescaler and then the other one uh, other source would be the external source which is on uh, port d pin 5 or pd5 on the arduino uno now here's the simplified diagram of the timer counter is based on the earlier block diagram. Uh, so here is the prescaler. Now I'll talk more about prescaler later on. And the input to the prescaler is the internal 16 megahertz oscillator. And the output of the prescaler is this clock pulses, which uh, we call it CLK signal. Now the CLK signal is fed to the TCNT. Now this signal will then trigger the TCNT to count upwards. All right, eventually it will come to a point where the uh, TCNT will overflow. And now during the overflow, it will set the TOV flag. All right, the overflow flag to a one. And uh, one more thing, uh, the TOV flag is a one bit flag and this can be found in the T. IFR or the timer counter one interrupt register flag and is in with the add mega three to eight the TOV the TOV flag is the is bit zero of the TIFR register. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the TCNT one and uh, see how it works. All right, so here's the block diagram of the uh, TCNT uh, with the prescaler and the TOV flag. Let's now zoom in onto this uh, TCNT part. Now let's assume, all right, we're going to load uh, this value E25D uh, hexa in binary. This that will be this here. 
1100010101101. Let's assume that we uh, load this hex value into the uh, TCNT and uh, it was then start counting upwards uh, when the uh, CLK clock signal comes in, so it counts upwards. Sorry, it's, it's uh, drawn it this way, but it counts upwards. And then let's assume that it got to this particular count, uh, FFFE. Now the next count uh, would be FFFF. Now, watch what happens when the count goes from FFFF back to zero because that would that would now be an overflow so when it transition from this to this here um, that would trigger or set the TOV flag all right it's the transition from FFFF to 0000, zero, zero, zero that would trigger or set the TOV TOV flag Okay, so now let's take a closer look at the prescaler. Now, the prescaler can be considered as a clock divider. Now, this clock divider is implemented as a counter, producing several output signals. With the Atmega 328, a 10-bit counter is used to div divide the input clock, which is the 16 megahertz uh, clock signal, into four different prescaled clock signals. A multiplexer is used to select which prescaled clock signal to use as input signal for the timer counter. Now, here's a block diagram of the prescaler. I've taken this from an Atmel. AVR 8-bit uh, microcontroller application note. Now let's simplify this. Now here's the simpli simplified block diagram. So we've got a clock signal going to a 10-bit prescaler and there are uh, four outputs uh, from the prescaler into a multiplexer or a MUX and the output of the uh, MUX is the CLK signal, which we mentioned earlier. Now, to select which of these signal to use, uh, we have to make use of these inputs uh, control to the multiplexer. That is uh, CS10, CS11, CS12. Now, CS stands for clock select. Now, let's look at the timer control uh, register, the TCCR. Now, the timer control regist register or the TCCR is made up of two 8-bit register as shown here. So this is uh, T -T TCCR1A, 8-bit, and then TCCR1B, is here shown here. Um, note that the function of the bits of each register is different. For example, bit zero in uh, TCCR1A is WGM10, but in T TCCR1B, uh, bit zero is a CS10, and so on. Now, the main function of the TCCR, I means together with the 16-bit, determine the mode of operation. Um, now, the mode of operate. There are three modes of operation. Actually, there are more than three, but we can categorize them into three main uh, mode of operation. I've taken this. Uh, information from the uh, Atmega 328 datasheet. Um, so the first mode of operation is the normal mode of operation. Uh, this would be our main interest in this video. The other one, the second one, is the clear timer on compare match or the CTC mode. Then there are three types of pulse width mod uh, modulation. 
uh, we won't be going we won't be touching on this too we'll be focusing as i mentioned a few moments ago on the normal mode operation again from the data sheet uh, i've extracted from the data sheet now notice for normal mode operation the bits involved are the WGM10, WGM11, WGM12, WGM13. Now, all these four bits must be set to zero for normal operation. On so WGM stands for Waveform Generation Mode. And here we are, I've repeated uh, the, uh, diagram, the block diagram here again. So for normal mode, op for normal operation, so WGM10 equals WGM11 equals WGM12 equals WGM13, all these four must be set to a zero. Uh, one more thing, notice uh, WGM10 and WGM11 they are located in TCCR1A and uh, WGM12 and WGM13, they are located in TCR1B register. Now for the prescaler, uh, to select the prescaler, the CS10, uh, CS11, CS12, they are used uh, have to be set accordingly. Now, uh, for this particular uh, video, I would be using the uh, 1024 prescaler factor. So that means CS10 is a 1, CS11 is a 0, and CS12 has to be set to a 1 for a prescaler factor of 1024. To select the um, Prescaler of factor of 1024, we have to focus on this three bits here from the TCR1B. Uh, as mentioned earlier, CS10 has to be set to a 1, uh, CS11 has to be set to a 0, and CS12 has to be set to a 1. Okay, so let us make use of the uh, registers that we have been uh, talking about in earlier to write a program to blink an LED. Now to blink an LED, we need a time delay routine. Um, we have done that uh, in um, we have done that in my earlier videos, making use of the 8 mega 328 instructions. But this time we're going to make use of the 8 mega 328 timer one to generate the delay. Now to do that, we need, there are several steps we need to take to generate the uh, time delay. So the first thing is to load TCN T1 register with the initial uh, count value. Then we set the mode of operation and the prescale factor. Then we monitor the timer overflow flag to see if it is set. If it's not, then we keep monitoring it. Now, if the uh, TOV flag is set, then we need to clear it after that. So these are the steps we need to take. So, so let's take a look at the code. Okay, so um, we're going to take a look at the uh, code that um, I'll be using uh, for the demonstration. Uh, just a word, um, most of the instructions I've covered uh, that I use in this uh, program, I've covered them uh, in my previous video. <clears throat> However, there is one particular instruction that I have not used uh, before. There is this instruction here, uh, STS. So let's take a quick look at this. <clears throat> so STS stands for Store Direct to Data Space. All right, basically what this does is it stores one byte uh, of data from uh, stored in the register to a data space. Now, data space in our uh, example here is basically the DTCNT1L. So this instruction 
STS TCN T1L comma R30 that will copy the contents of R uh, register R30 into TCN T1L. Um, basically, this is the only new instruction in this program. Okay, so uh, the first line of the program here is the include directive. Uh, here it says include this file uh, m328pdev.inc. Uh, so that file will be included. Then the second line here, equate, that will set up this constant. The constant name here is value, and we give it the va hex value uh, C2F7. Uh, I'll show you how to calculate this value uh, later on. So we come to the main program. So the first two line, LDI and out instruction, basically will set up the data direction register of port B to output mode. Now, all these instructions, I have explained this in my previous videos. Now, coming to this part here, here is the SBI that's to set uh, the bit, uh, bit zero of port B on. So that will switch on the LED. Here, I assume that the an LED interface is connected to the port uh, B bit zero. So we call the delay. Then we clear, CBI is clear. That means we uh, set uh, bit zero of port B off. That will switch the LED off. Then call the delay. Here, the jump will repeat this instructions again. So we'll get, now we get a flashing LED. Now, coming to the uh, subroutine here. So remember the one of the first step that we have to do, we have to load uh, the initial count value uh, into TCNT1 register. So these four uh, instructions here, uh, that will carry out that uh, procedure. All right, so uh, I've explained the STS instruction earlier. So, um, what we're doing here is um, we are using two uh, directives, high and low. Basically, this instruction here will uh, load the high byte of value into uh, our register R30. Here, this instruction here will load the lower byte uh, uh, of the 16 bit uh, into register R30. All right, so that, so these four instruction will complete the uh, initial count value, well, sorry, will load the initial count value into T, C, and T1. Now, we come into this part here. This part, these four instructions will set up the mode of operation and the pre-scalar factor. Now, remember the to set the, uh, the mode, we require both TCCR1A and TCCR1B because the the bits that are required are split into this um, separated into these two register. The first two bits of TCCR1A that has to be set to uh, to zeros, and then the other two bits here that are highlighted in red in TCCR1B that has to be set to uh, zero zero. So with this two uh, combination, we would have completed the normal mode, normal mode operation. Now the first three bits of TCR1B that will uh, determine the pre-scalar factor. In this example, I'm using 1024 uh, pre-scalar factor. So uh, the first three bits have to be 101. This is highlighted in blue. Now, one this last instruction STS uh, TCR1B comma R31 is uh, executed. The timer will start counting upwards. Now we come to this part where we need to monitor the overflow flag. So uh, these two instructions will keep monitoring the uh, overflow overflow flag. Now once 
the overflow flag or TOV uh, one flag is set. That means that indicates that there is an overflow. There's a transition from FFFF to 0000. The TOV will be set to one. Now to clear that, we need to set TOV one to a one. Now the one will clear the TOV. Now this is how this is implemented in the 8 mega 328. It may seem strange to you, but that's how it's been done. Now the next two instructions, basically these two instructions here <clears throat> will load uh, FF into TCRB1 using via uh, R30. That will stop the timer. And RET will take the program control back to the main program. All right, so I did mention that I'll show you how to calculate the uh, value of time delay. So let's look into that. All right, so the um, time value that I've used in, in this video is a one second delay. Now, the clock frequency of the 8 mega 328 is, is 16 megahertz. And the pre-scale factor that I've chosen is 1024. Now, let's look at this equation here. Uh, this is the equation that I'll be using to calculate the uh, value that is needed to be uh, loaded into TCNT. So the number of ticks. Now ticks here refer to the number of pulses all right, so the number of ticks is equals to desired time. Uh, in our case, the desired time is one second divided by T subscript CLK. Now T subscript uh, CLK is actually equate, is equal to pre-scale factor divided by the clock frequency, the 60 megahertz. And mentioned earlier, the desired time is one second. So Prescale factor divided by the frequency uh, of the uh, micro um, sorry of the uh, microcontroller. Then the prescale factor chosen is 1024 divided by 16 megahertz. That will give us 6.410 to the minus 5. Now in floating point, that will be 0 0.000065. Now, the, the, remembering the number of ticks is equal to desired time uh, divided by T subscript uh, CLK. Now, T subscript CLK now is this value here. So one, one second divided by uh, not point or 0 0.00065. That will give us 15,625 ticks. Now, for the uh, 8 mega 328 timer one, uh, it's a 16 bit, uh, what do you call time? It has a 16 bit timer counter. So, that maximum that will give us 65,536 count. So, we, we use that 65. 536 minus this uh, value here, 15,625, that will give us 49911. Now, that is the decimal, uh, that's the value in decimal, but uh, I choose to convert it into hexa, that would be C2F7, and that's the value that you have seen in the, uh, the code earlier. Okay, so before we look at the uh, code demonstration, let's take a quick look at the hardware that is used uh, in this video. Now, the hardware is the same as the one used in my previous uh, videos. Uh, so basically, <coughs> so here is the circuit diagram or schematic. So uh, Basically, it's a 220 ohm resistor in series with an LED, and one the one end of the resistor is connected to pin eight of the Arduino Uno, 
uh, that is basically port B bit zero on the 8 mega 328 uh, microcontroller. And the other end of the uh, LED uh, will be taken to ground. And here on this side would be the um, wiring diagram uh, of this schematic. Um, so you have a 220 ohm resistor in series with a LED. Uh, cathode of the LED is connected to ground on the Arduino and the resistor is connected to pin 8 of uh, the Arduino Uno. Now, so here's the a picture of the actual setup. So that's basically the hardware. The code demonstration. Okay, so while well, we're back in the uh, in, into the Atmel Studio Seven, and and I've uploaded the uh, code uh, here. So let me just briefly go through the code again with you. So include a directive here it would include this uh, file into the uh, program. Set here we set up a, a constant called value. Give it a hex value C two F seven. That should give us the one second delay. Then here we're setting up these two lines here that was set up the data direction uh, register of port B to output mode. And here, this line here basically, sorry, this line here basically that would turn the least significant LED, that means uh, a bit zero of port B on. And then here we turn the same LED, the least significant LED off. In between we have the delay, and this basically here would uh, repeat this pro this few lines uh, given us the uh, the blinking effect so now let's take a quick look as uh, at the um, delay subroutine um, as we explained earlier the f so this first four lines here basically is to uh, load the initial value uh, into tc and t1 then here this next four lines of code basically is to set the uh, the mode of the timer uh, remember we are using normal mode next thing we want to do is to have the prescaler at this at uh, 1024 so the first three bits of uh, tccr1b has to be uh, 101 so that would give us the pre-scale factor of 1024. Then we have to monitor the overflow flag, TOV1. So this uh, two lines would, would, uh, would accomplish the task. Now, if when the um, overflow occurs, then we need to uh, set TOV, uh, clear, sorry, clear TOV1. And to do that, we have to set that bit uh, to a one. Um, like I said, that's how the Ad Mega three to eight uh, works. Then finally, we need to stop the timer. So these two instructions will stop the timer, and RET will take us back to the main program. Right. So what we could do is we go to go to build, build the solution, and here at the bottom we see the build is successful. So the next thing we need to do is to um, upload the code to the Arduino Uno. So we go to Tools and um, I'm going to upload it uh, using this uh, function here. Um, I've uploaded the uh, my video here so that we can see what's uh, the LED blink in a, in a moment. So upload it. It's blinking. Now this LED now is flashing. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, stop it for a while. Uh, let, let me just try and go back. And we probably... If you want to experiment, you can change this code, this value here to a value such that it will flash uh, a little bit faster. 
So I'm going to do is, I have worked out for 0.5 of a second, this value here has to be, uh, let me just try and uh, get this done. So uh, I worked it out as E1 uh, 7B, all right. All right, so let me just build the thing. Yeah, it's successful. Go to tools again. Uh, upload it. As you can see, the LED is blinking uh, faster now. All right, so that's it for this demonstration. In this video, I've shown you how to generate a time delay using the Edmega 328 uh, Timer 1. I have left out many of the features of the Edmega 328 Timer 1 as I felt that that might complicate the, uh, the explanation. And uh, I've also uploaded the code I use in this video in the link provided in the description. Please try it out, especially uh, experiment with the uh, value uh, for generating the delay. I hope you have found this video useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.